Welcome in the garden. So a lot has changed for most of the country in a very short amount of time. We went from cold to warm and sort of dry, but now it is officially, wait for it, spring. And for most of us in the garden, this is a very busy time of year. Things are blooming, things are happening, that whole weed thing is starting to happen as well. So there's a lot of things that need to be done and it's not much different for us, both at our headquarters in Aurora, Oregon, where a lot of our plants are on their way to you at local garden centers and it's not any different in any of our display gardens, including this one here, where a lot of work is still being done, just like your garden at home. And lots of fantastic things start to happen and that's what we're about to look at. Most of us are familiar with, well, your typical flowers that are absolutely beautiful this time of year in spring. But what happens if there was a whole other type of bloom that also provided 365 days of color in the garden on top of blooms in spring? Well, let's say hello to a lot of the beautiful cones that are produced by many different conifers, spruce and fir in particular, picea being spruce or abies being fir. This is the time of year where they start to produce cones, both male and female cones. The male cones are pollen cones and the female cones are, well, the typical cones that we're used to seeing. And that's exactly what we're taking a look at here. Right next to me is a Picea pungens glaucopendula, which is really going a little crazy with its cones right now, which is a beautiful display of sort of a violet raspberry kind of color. And cones on different pines are also very interesting across the board from sort of an indigo kind of color all the way to some firs, which create a yellow and then eventually darkens to almost another purple tone cone later in the year. And so they provide a point of interest throughout the course of the season in the garden. And yes, this is indeed flowering in the version of what conifers do. And it is an underrated and spectacular part of their spring season. And speaking of flowers. So we go from conifers in bloom to other plants in true blooms and flowers. And this is a spectacular plant that will provide you with two great things in your garden. Number one, these beautiful blooms that you see, but also the fragrance factor, which is off the charts with this plant, a really super fragrant dwarf lilac. Now we grow these dwarf lilacs a little bit higher, so that way it's referred to as being grown on a standard, and you can do an incredible amount of underplantings with this, which can really give you some great texture contrast and color pairings throughout the course of the year. A really stunning plant to add to your garden for both visual appeal and fragrance. So in our last episode of In the Garden, just a few short weeks ago, we were introduced to Young Eye, which is a European birch, and then it was a winter interest plant, but now it has leafed out and has this incredible just cascading canopy of beautiful green leaves. So in the winter, it provided you with beautiful bark, and now it's doing another spectacular display throughout the rest of the growing season, providing your garden with 365 days of color. We'll see you next time in the garden.